<laughs> you, are you gonna declutter them? Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I've got a huge to-do list today and it's gonna include a massive pile of laundry that I need to get caught up on. I need to declutter up in the spare room. I also am hoping to get through our closets because I need to just kind of reorganize things in there and then just like general cleaning. The last two days have been filled with me working on my kitchen organization, which if you guys didn't see that video, I will definitely link it below. It was a really good one, but since I was so distracted with doing that, a lot of other things went to kind of crazy around the house. And of course, the girls are three little busy bodies that definitely make messes at times. So I have a lot of general cleaning to do, and then I'm also going to be making some of my dishwasher pods because I am out of those. And just whatever else I find along the way. I've got my cup of coffee, so I'm well caffeinated and ready to tackle quite a few hours of projects. Before we get started though, I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by Top Cashback. I've worked with them quite a few times and you guys know that. And right now, most of us are doing a majority of our shopping online, which is perfect. Why not add a way to earn cash back through the normal shopping that we're already doing? Top Cashback offers 100% of commission back. Because of this, they consistently feature higher rates than their competitors. They have so many stores that you're already familiar with, like Amazon. It's simple to sign up and free. All you need is your email. You can save from stores that you already shop from, like Walmart, Dollar Tree, and many more. Top Cashback offers over 4,000 retailers. So I just searched for Amazon in the search bar, select the offer I wanted, and then shop as normal, and they keep track of everything for you. Getting your cash back is really simple. As you can see, I have $40 waiting for me and you can receive your cash back in many ways, including PayPal. Top Cash Back just added a browser extension to make saving money even easier. Downloading the browser extension is simple as you can see here and you can use it to access deals, coupon codes, and cash back with this handy little button at the top of your browser. Check out the link in the description box for a $10 sign up bonus and cash back when you spend $25. So be sure to hit the link in the description box to try Top Cash Back out today. And if you guys are cleaning along with me, maybe hit the pause button, scratch down a few things that you wanna get done. I know for me, sometimes it just helps me get things done faster if I brain dump a little bit on a piece of paper and just kind of make myself a to-do list. Also, as we're going through this difficult time and just everybody in so many different situations, if you have a prayer request, please leave it in the description box. I do spend time praying for you guys and I just want you to know that somebody cares even if you feel really alone right now. So let's jump right into this. I ordered this bucket off of Amazon and it actually came pretty quickly because I just needed another mop bucket and I wanted to make sure it was metal because I'm using essential oils a lot whenever I'm cleaning. Plus it's convenient to carry my cleaning supplies and stuff around. I need to take the sticker off of this, but I put this on it because I want you guys to tag your stuff on Instagram whenever you've been motivated or inspired by me so that I can see it and I can comment on it or just see what you guys are up to. I thought this would be a really fun way for us to stay connected and for you to even be able to search this hashtag and find other people that are a part of my community. So if this video inspires you or motivates you to get something done today, it might even just be unloading your dishwasher. <laughs> Tag me so that I can see it.
for honest but i know uh -huh. left these years ago i was young and i'm old still care for the void uh -huh. we don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow never see the end of the night for sorrow what do we do to love what do we do to love what do we do to love when everything's said and done what do we do to love what do we do to love what do we do to love when everything's said and done what do we do to love I've been getting a lot of comments lately on what I use on my stovetop just to clean off, you know, baked on or fried on things. And it is the cleaning paste from Norwex. I really like it. It's like abrasive enough just to scrub the things off you need to scrub off, but it also doesn't scratch your stovetop. Out in the unknown, story took us toll, thought I would have grown. To become a better man Sinking in the sand oh. We don't need the past on our lives for tomorrow Never see the end of the night for sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done what do we do to love? I'm pausing on the cleaning to um, make up some of my dishwasher tabs. So this is a mold from Amazon. I will try to remember to link it below. And basically all you need is one and one fourth cup of laundry booster, something else I get from Amazon. And um, you can use any essential oil you wanna use, but lemon is known to be a grease cutter and helps your glasses get clear, that kind of thing. So you mix this with three tablespoons of salt, and I think it's like 40 drops of essential oil and then a half cup of water. You mix it up and then you put it in your molds and then you want them to sit until they've hardened. It takes about, I would say like overnight and they might be hard. You'll know because you can pop them out really easily. So I'm gonna set this up so that by tomorrow these will be ready and I'll be good to go. Okay guys, so it's the next day and I'm headed up to the bonus room and I did not get everything done yesterday because I had some little people that actually needed me. So we are on day two, which is fine because I can show you the dishwasher tab. And right now all the girls are taking their naps. So I'm coming up here to work on this disastrous mess. So this is where the couch went that was down in the living room. And eventually we would really like to make this into a second like living room bonus room area 
area slash where family stays when they come visit us. So that's my husband's hockey gear that he laid out all over the place. So I'm probably going to clean that up. And then um, all of this was from, you remember the cabinet that I took downstairs um, in the dining room? Well, a bunch of this stuff was in it. And it's just a bunch of stuff I really need to clean up. So, oh, and then also over here is our like homeschool closet or just craft closet, whatever you want to call it. And it's kind of a little bit out of sorts, as you can see. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I need to put away and just kind of reorganize in here. So, I figured while everybody's napping, I'm going to do this. This is my like secret stash, you guys. In my other house, I had a junk room. If you guys have been subscribed for a while, then you know that. And then these kind of piles would happen in there. So, because this area, we don't really use it and it's like not furnished and stuff, this ends up happening. And then piles like this also happen in my closet sometimes. <laughs> So comment below and let me know where do piles like this happen in your house? Do you have a junk room or maybe a junk closet? <laughs> Things feel so much better in here. Corey's gonna take care of that stuff. And this is basically there because we don't have a desk up here right now. And we wanna put some sort of a desk probably here just for, you know, bills and papers and things like that. So, and I straighten things up in here. If you've never seen this before, I've done um, a video of me organizing this initially. But we have like our folding table in here and folding chairs and then obviously like all of our books and things that are educational and um, when we do school and stuff Everly this fall will be starting preschool so a lot of this is in preparation for that and of course they just like to do crafts and stuff now so anyhow got it all organized and kind of picked up put away and it feels so much better in here than what it did moving on to our closet so there is some things out of place in here and things piled up and this is like one of my spots that I just pile all kinds of stuff that either comes from Amazon or just like don't really know what to do with at the moment if I'm not doing it like right now I've got a ton of like bottles to make my own hand soap and stuff like that and I need to put that in that bin this is a mop that I'm giving away this month and just like stuff obviously a toy that the girls left in here <laughs> anyways so I'm going to go through pick things up kind of put things orderly and I also need to go through our clothes and just kind of hang them in the right order again and I need to take care of all of this up here
Look at all of these cutoff t-shirts. He has so many, it's ridiculous. I think he has more cutoff t-shirts than he does regular t-shirts. I wanna discuss your collection of cutoff shirts here. They're strictly for work and do you think, things. Do you think you have enough? This is my favorite one, <laughs> mostly because it's barely a shirt. <laughs> Like, you have more cutoff shirts than you do t-shirts. Yeah, you're lucky I'm wearing one. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> After I lined them all up, I was like, it's half of your entire closet up there. I just cut this one off the other day while I was at work. And then I used the leftover sleeve for a mask because I was doing insulation. <laughs> so it was awesome. It worked great. <laughs> there is so many. Don't cut any more off. By next year, they'll probably all be cut. No. <laughs> You, are you gonna declutter them? No, they're just for your books. collection. Books in case I ever need a lot of them. <laughs> Before I show you the finished product on the closet, um, I wanted to show you guys how these turned out. So they turned out a little messier than my last batch. My last batch was really smooth on top. These didn't end up being smooth, but what does it really matter? They're all getting thrown into your dishwasher, right? So they just look like this, and I just put them all in my little dish tabs container, and it goes underneath of my sink. And then I use one to two tabs per load, depending on how dirty the load is and that sort of thing. But as you can see, it really does make a good amount and the arm and hammer soda that you use in this is really inexpensive so all in all I think it's a great win and to know that you're using something with less chemicals on your dishes feels so much more organized and put together so I got rid of those drawers that were up here because they basically had nothing important in them. I went through them and threw away a lot of stuff that was in them. So I just have my extra letter boards up in here and this thing is my letter organizer for my letter boards. I think I've shown you guys this before, but it has like all the little spots in it to put my letters for my letter board and my hat and then my bags and I actually have the bag that I use the most down here and then just shoes where they all are supposed to go and then I just kind of went through my bottoms and went through this and I reorganized this because I had originally had all of our long sleeve stuff in the middle because it's been winter time but it's getting a lot warmer here in North Carolina now I have our tank top kind of stuff in the cutoffs <laughs> Um, I need to get some more tanks for myself. And then up in here is like off season um, extra jeans uh, for Corey's work because you, as you saw probably his jeans get really torn to shreds um, just from doing construction and stuff. So uh, all of that. And then this is actually from our wedding. It was on a canvas and we mixed paint together as like a unity ceremony piece. And then we actually took the canvas off the canvas and framed it because the canvas got ruined I think through our move and stuff um the back of it was coming off of it so we just framed it and then I have some things just bookshelf wise and extra sh storage for shoes and then I did put these in here I may end up moving these to a kitchen cabinet though I did think about it that they could go in a kitchen cabinet and then like these bins on either side we use for like socks underwear um undershirts things like that and um then I just kind of organized his stuff up here is where his ball caps and stuff go and yeah I'm really happy with this I feel like I have to do this every couple months for it to stay somewhat orderly <laughs> But I hope this video inspired you guys. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to tag me if you get motivated by my content. And I will see you guys in my next video. 